Word. What's happening, man? Bufo, my guy. Yo, you know, I'm, I'm about to in like, in like a minute, maybe two minutes. So just, just bear with me if I got like bad service so you can't hear me. Okay. You be careful behind the wheel. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be looking forward for a little bit. But yeah, man, first of all, let me start by saying thank you that, dude, it's fucking hard to find people that are willing to just help a stranger to do, you know, their thing, you know, dude, like I don't have many friends. So I appreciate it, first of all, and especially to find somebody that knows what they're talking about, not just somebody that's blowing steam up my ass or a yes man or or something like that, you know? So that's why I, I kept repeating. Like, I want you to be as honest as you can, man. Like, if my shit sucks, like, I want to know because I want to improve. If it's a two, if you think it's two, like, I want to make it a four. I want to make it a six, you know? So I feel like that's the whole, you know, game of, of, of all of this, you know, just trying to get better and just in life in general, you know? So right, I see you here with your content with your advice, dude, like every day it gets better and better, like a little bit at a time. So dude, that's why I'm fucking with you, man. I appreciate it. Dude, you're good, man. So, uh, yeah, man, what do you got going on? Dude, I, I will. First of all, I, I appreciate that. And, um, I, um, I'm just writing right now. I, um, it's kind of interesting. I, you know, I, I make beats and I, I usually f- kind of w- where you're coming from, um, I make beats and then I'm kind of like, I have an idea what this is going to sound like if it's mixed and mastered, but I know I can't really get it there myself. Right. Yeah. And so I've kind of just been focusing on lyrics, you know, so because I make beats and I feel happy about them. But but I'm kind of like if I'll, I'll sit there for a week and a half and mix it 400 times and still not like it because okay, I, 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 I've, I, so my, my kind of advice coming to you is, is straight from, you know, my heart and from my experience of, of being like, do I want to put the time into this to do this just so I could say right. I did all of it? Or is it just, is it my pride or is it, do I really think that I can make this sound better than someone who's been doing this for 10 years or so dude, I, I, I'll tell you this, the first guy, the first guy I ever met that was making music and hip hop was a guy I met on an airplane. He was sitting next to me and I was, I was writing and I was listening and I was making beats on my phone and he's like, dude, I know you make hip hop music. I said, how do you know that? And he's like, cause I can just tell cause you know, you're, 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 you're bouncing on the plane, you know? Yeah. And, uh, he was like, I was like, let's, so we just started talking and it, and it was like, he was super cool. He was super nice. And so I just assumed everybody that I talked to that was making right. music, that was hip, that people in the music industry or whatever, you know, he had made a couple albums. I was like, everybody's cool. Everybody wants me to do good. Everybody wants me to grow. Everybody wants to help. And then it was like, so after I started making some, you know, I kind of just locked myself in the the studio, my own little studio for like three months that summer, this past summer. And then I just started following people on Instagram and I started realizing that not everybody's, not everybody's trying to help other people. Yeah, man. It can be cutthroat. So I just felt like, what would I, what would I want if I could go back a year? And it's like, I want more people like him that were like, this is what it's going to feel like when this happens yeah, or whatever. Yeah. So anyways, I know you're going to work, but I just, I just, no, I, hear you, man. I just want, I just want, I just want people to be encouraged because like that, that feeling that you had today is the feeling that, that I had like, eight months ago. And I was like, I don't think this is going to work out. And it's just kind of like you get past it and you grow and it's, it's, it's cool. It's just a process. But like, like you were saying earlier in the DMS, it's like, if you don't like that process of like hitting walls and then punching through them, 
then it's 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 going to end in frustration. And I I just I just I encourage you, dude, to just keep going. Your that your mix was <laughs> your mix was dude, fine. Let me, let me ask you about that, man, because I don't know exactly. Like to to me, to my ear, it sounded like it was muffled, like it was like somebody put a like a, like a cloth or something over a speaker, or like mm-hmm. the speaker was in a box. So I don't know if maybe EQing the the high end, just like turning that up with with an equalizer, would like help improve to make it sound a little bit crisper. And I don't know if the well, bass, look, if it, like the kick was too loud. It's like I have so many questions, but you know I didn't have anybody to ask. But I always, you know, I sit in my car, I listen to the sub, and I don't know if it's turned up too high. You know, I'm a bass head. I I like the fucking hard kick, right, and everything. But you know, I don't know how everybody else feels or how you feel about it. You know. Mm-hmm. And it, dude, it may be your speakers. It may be, it may be that the person that you heard it on, like you said, Kato played it for you or something. You know, his yeah. speakers are probably his, his speakers are probably five thousand dollars, and they're picking <laughs> up, they're okay. picking up, you know, they're picking up frequencies that maybe your headphones didn't pick up, right? You said you kind of had some lower yeah. quality headphones, so I mean, you're not going to be able to hear that. So if if it sounds good on your headphones because it's not picking up those that low end, would you put it into a machine that's that's kicking out those frequencies on the on speakers that are capable of of referencing those low end? It's right. going to sound like it wasn't mixed because you didn't mix True. it, you didn't hear it when you were doing it on your on your stuff. So, dude, that happened to me the other day too. I sent, um, I sent. I sent a song, my last, what my last song actually. I sent it off for the first time, or to a, uh, to like a pro mix and master guy, and um, and he's got, you know, he's got a studio and he's got, yeah, you know, he was doing stuff for Dougie Fresh, like he's legitimate, right? And then one of these little radio stations uh, that's like, hey, on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? The ones that yeah, are like, yeah, hey, I'm call like, in at two in the morning and and you know, have your song played. It was, it was a joke. 10 people were on it. And the 10 people that were listening were 10 people that had their songs played. So it was just like a, a pony show, you know? Yeah. And she played my song and it was just like what you said. And it sounded like crap because she had crap speakers. And I was like, Oh my gosh, that's so embarrassing. Like my song <laughs> sounds so bad. And then I was like, yeah, man. but it sounds good when I play it on my really nice headphones and the guy that made it is, is making songs that are on, that have been on the radio, like for real. So it's just kind of like, I don't know, man. I don't, I mean, I, yeah, I know the feeling, bro. I'm, I'm not, like, I'm not an fucking... engineer. I don't mix and master. I'm just telling you what, I'm just telling you what I hear based on what people have said about my music. And I'm like, Oh, okay. That's this. If it sounds thin, you know, you may need to add another layer, but right. you also might need to cut out a lot of frequencies that make it sound like it's in a tin box. Or if it's right. got a, you know, if it sounds muffled, you know, you need to you need to work something out in those in those frequencies. And one thing yeah, that I, I one thing that I've done one one thing I've done specifically, like when I'm trying to mix my vocals, is um, you know, on the EQ, you can raise it, and there's a there's a Q level. Like if you raise the Q level, it makes the it makes the the wave or the 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 part that's cutting in or raising or lowering more sharp. If that makes yep. sense, I don't know the I don't know the correct like nomenclature, but you but make yeah, it sharp as po- you make, if you make it sharp as possible, and you put it way up and just kind of drag it along the top, and you start hearing like. <sighs> You know what I'm saying? Then, like, that's yeah, what you yeah. cut out of it. Like, you do right. the exact op. Like, sometimes I'll just, I'll just drag the, like, one of the, one of the bars, all the way to the top, and then just drag it across the whole spectrum. And if it sounds bad, that's something that I'm going to cut out of it. But I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, dude, I'm, <laughs> I'm right there with you. Like, I'm not a, I'm not an engineer, so I'm just saying, like. Uh, that's just something that I've kind of had to come across myself when I was trying to cut hard S's. Uh, that sheet I sent you too is good because it has, it has reference points for certain frequencies. 
So like there's a description, okay, yeah. there's That's like a description, a thing, like if it sounds cloudy or if it sounds muffled or if it sounds too high or if it, te- if it sounds too sharp or if it, if it's like a, like a, like a hard sibilant, like an S or it'll say, okay, this is probably the range of frequencies that, that you're on. That's gonna, that you might need to lower, but I don't know, man. Okay. I had a should so just got a call. My bad. No, I don't worry about it. But uh, no, dude. I just I um, <clears throat> as many as many like beat makers as there are out there, and when we get on like the uh, the music entrepreneurs club or whatever, whatever live or Dame or or Kato or DJ Payne One or whoever, it seems like there's just tons of people out there. But really. You look and see how many people are in those lives, and there's not that many people. Yeah, you know, it's right. really. I mean, I see the same people over and over. You know, <laughs> and it's like right. I'll DM people and be like, "Hey, what's up? What are you up to?" And it's like a lot of those guys are cool, but it's like it's not. It's not a. It's not a big world out there. There's a lot of lone rangers, you know, that are out there making beats and that are on Beat Stars or whatever. But there's kind of a small community of people that are actually engaging people. And I think that's really encouraging. And I, I just would love to be a part of that. Dude, definitely, man. Dude, Gummy Beats, actually, I hadn't, like, I followed him and everything, but he actually, like, answered a couple of my questions and everything. Dude, he is pretty fucking cool guy, man. Like, I didn't, honestly, I didn't think somebody, uh, like, at the level he's at would answer and be like, oh, fuck this guy. Like, I, I'm not even going to bother, like, even reading his message. But he right. actually answered and, like, replied with a couple of videos. And, dude, he's, like, a, a he's like great person in general. He's another person I appreciate. Like, also the guys from Music Entrepreneur Club, man. Mm. Honestly, if it wasn't for them, I would be so behind to where I am right now. Like, I'm sure I wouldn't have a song uploaded anywhere like i would have no idea like what even ozone even is like i just downloaded it yesterday mm-hmm. so i'm gonna start messing with that see if i can get get that going and hopefully that'll improve the the, the quality of, of 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 the sound of the music dude i haven't even started messing with vocals yet man so right i'm gonna you stay away from that for for, for now at least it's so a like vortex somebody... man it's like it sucks you in like you can watch it's like you can watch so many videos, but it, it really just helps to kind of get a basic idea and just jump into it. Because there's that feeling of of every – what's up, Chucky? I, we, I, we just saw you come in. Um, there's that kind of feeling that I think everybody has of of like I don't know what I'm doing and I should be able to do this. And it's just like – I don't know where that feeling comes from, but I I felt that for a long time. And I and like I said, I only knew one person and I kind of kept in touch with that guy for several months. And the more and more I started asking questions, it was like, oh, yeah, I feel that, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I had that experience. And it's kind of it's good to just think that, like, if you're kind of just walking into something like brand, like brand new and like a whole new world of something that you're experiencing – like the feelings that you have are pretty, unless you're just a weird person, everybody has felt those things. And that's good to remember. And it's so, it's so good to hear guys that are like actually successful and like making money and doing this as a living to go back and be like, Oh yeah, I, I had those feelings, but it's, it's hard to get somebody on a conversation like this to where they're vulnerable enough to say me too, you know? And uh, I just I just encourage you to to find people that are experienced, but also have the have the honesty and the humility to be like, dude, I know exactly what you're feeling right now. And and I just I know that I haven't been doing this much longer than you have, but I definitely know what that feels like. And I still feel that way about a lot of things. Um, but I don't dude, know. That's dude. what like, I've been reaching out, going to shows, trying to message people, like trying to leave comments, even if it's just a fucking emoji with the thumbs up, man, they'll, they'll see my name. 
They'd be like, oh, this person's, I guess, supporter, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Just following as many people as I can, hoping somebody will follow me back and click on my link. I'm trying to see if I can get ads going. Dude, there's just, like, so much, like, you, like, to do all around and, like, every aspect of the business, the music, the this, the that. And then I, I remember Dame always saying, like, delegate you know find out what you're good at you know stick to that and then have somebody else do something else for you and stuff like mm -hmm. that so you know sort of what you were saying you know try to keep remind remember that and sort of keep that mentality and still at the same time keep growing because to have a team you know I don't need a team yet you know I'm not that you know I don't have shit popping so I don't need a manager I don't need any of that stuff yet I just need to focus on getting a fan base first of all you know developing a brand and stuff like that but even small concepts your basic concepts not small basic concepts like that I, I didn't even have in mind let's say three months ago mm -hmm. you know so this is all new I've been making music on my computer for a, a little over a year but going yeah. into the whole business you know it's only been a couple months so it's mm -hmm. exciting it's nerve-wracking it's frustrating it's great it's dude it's everything all in one man and looking it's so, forward but, to just but just some of the things that you were saying to me like i could sense that excitement like that excitement that i have but it's kind of like once you get deeper down the hole you start to realize that there's all these other trails like business marketing advertisement fan base you know social media equipment you know, all plugins, all these different things that people get stuck in. And it's so easy to just kind of stop making music because you're so kind of missing the, you know, missing the forest for the trees. Like you, you get stuck, you get bogged down. And I mean, like recently, like I've just, I mean, I started out just making song after song after song after song and thinking like, I need to record this. And I started to record them and and then it's kind of like I got this kick of like talking to people and it's like I love talking to people and encouraging people and trying to offer anything for anybody that's that's kind of <clears throat> that doesn't that doesn't ha you know that hasn't read a lot of, of things or whatever or, or doesn't hasn't come across you know someone that's trying to help or answer questions that they've learned and it's like but at the same time it's like I'm making less music because of it. And it's like the reason that I'm doing this is to help the music and to help other people. So it's kind of like, I just, I feel like I that's just why encourage it takes you, so like, long. don't get bogged down with the mixing and mastering. Like, focus on making badass music and, and doing your thing. Do, do the thing that, that, makes, that started you down the road to begin with, which it sounds like is beat making. Yeah, right? man. Definitely, dude. So I, I feel like I, if I'm, I'm going to be getting my uh, headphones on Friday, so I'm excited for that because I feel like I can't even trust my headphones anymore, man. Like, I feel like I just go sit down and put them on. Somebody's lying to me through these headphones. Like, this is not what it really sounds like. I'm being deceived. I'm being bamboozled by these headphones. And you know what's crazy is that is that the longer you sit there, it doesn't matter how good your headphones are, your ears start playing tricks on you. Like, like literally, you. your ears will get tired. Your ears will get tired, and you won't hear certain things. And then your mind will start playing tricks, and then you'll just be like, "What? Like, <laughs> you got to take a break. Like, you gotta, you gotta walk away from it. You know, like there's been times where I've written lyrics, and I'm like super pumped about it because I was feeling it like at the time. And I come back when I'm kind of more like in a, a chilled out mood, and I'm like, this wasn't that cool. <laughs> so i mean i'm just saying like just that's something that like i can kind of get sucked into something and not take a break and not not st step back from it and be more objective i can get like so subjective into it that i just kind of lose perspective and that helps to, to just stop take a break say hey i'm going to come back to this tomorrow or i'm going to work on something else and come back because your ears will get tired dude like i felt that where it's just like you know, like if you've been on your phone too long and your eyes start hurting or you're like you get a yeah. tear in your eye or something and it's like your body's telling you to stop. Dude, it can only take so so much, dude. 
Let, let me ask you another quick uh, question about the song you listened to earlier, man. Would you say that song is acceptable quality enough to, to upload? Like maybe I fix a couple of two, two, three more things, iron out a couple more wrinkles. And would it be good enough quality to upload, you would think? Um, like not for an artist, but maybe for a placement type of thing. Or here's, or the should I, here's the thing. I could probably get um, it sent to a professional, it sounds like. Like it's, a, it's an instrumental. Correct. Right. So I think it's, I think it's perfect for SoundCloud, okay. but I mean, are you going to, I mean, if you're wanting to like monetize it or like get streams on it, I don't, I'm not really sure. To put it on BeatStars really. And I guess. Yeah. On I mean, yeah. BeatStars. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people that I would think, I know that I would do this. If I bought a beat off somebody, I wouldn't be like, oh, did you mix and master it? Cool. And then I'll put my vocals on it and mix and master the vocals and put the two together. I would not do that. I don't think most people would do that. They're going to okay. buy your beat. They're going to put vocals on it, and then they're going to mix and master it on their end together. Okay. So okay. I, so, so that's, that's what I'm saying. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't focus on like trying to get your beat like mix and mastered perfect – just so somebody can buy it and then they go and get the files and mix and master it themselves. Like, okay. I didn't look at it that way. So I appreciate that perspective. Yeah. I mean, I it's really kind of like, it's kind of like if you got, if you got a suit on the rack for sale, some guy's going to go buy that, but he's going to go take it to the tailor and mm. get it. See, get that's it. the brilliant analogy right there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can't go and tailor it the way you want it when that's just my opinion, dude. I'm, I'm just saying like, as an artist, I'm looking at it from an artist perspective. Like I make my own beats and I like things to sound a certain way, but if some right. guy mix and masters it and puts it a bunch of stuff on it that I don't want, I'm going to be like, Hey, can you cut all that off and send me the raw files and that type of thing? So I'm saying, oh, right. so th this is what I'm saying. You got a SoundCloud, uh, you put it on beat stars, you know, I think, I think that's a good, I think that those are good platforms. Like I wouldn't put it on like iTunes or Spotify. Okay. You know what I mean? Just, yeah, definitely. Just because you, that's your final product, right? Spotify is your final product. You want, you want to like, I, I put a, I put two songs on Spotify and they're like mixed and mastered and I invested in that because that's that they're getting the final product. What you're making is you're like giving somebody ingredients and they're going to take those ingredients and they're going to put their final product up. So okay. here's the thing is like when you lease it out or let's say you give them an exclusive, your beats probably not going to sound like how you made it mm, because they're okay. going to, because you're, you're giving that away. You're selling that, right? It's like, that's your baby. Like you're, <laughs> you can't like, when you hear it on the, if you, let's say you, you hear it on the radio, it's not, it's, you're going to be like, Oh, that's, that's my beat, but they they upped the synth here and they took the they took the, the eight oh eight out and hit the you know what I'm saying? Like it's Yeah, I hear you. That's that's when you sign those rights away, they they uh they turn it into what they want. But you're getting paid for it. That's you're getting paid to let it go. True, so I'm man. just saying I wouldn't I mean, I would even upload that stuff to YouTube, YouTube, SoundCloud, more platforms, the better, because someone may just be like, hey, I'll hit you up in the DMs. I'll cash app you 60 bucks to lease that. And then it's like. You may not even have to go through a platform, you know, because. I'm just saying, don't limit yourself to that. But like the analogy of kind of like if you just if you're just you're cooking up beats and you're wanting to you're like wanting to get them out at like scale, you're wanting to like like put out. If it costs a hundred and fifty bucks to mix and master every song, you're not going to pay a hundred and fifty bucks for fifty beats that you just made last month or two months. Dude, isn't that – I think that's the very question I, I met you with. Like, weren't you asking yes, that on the music yes, entrepreneur? Yes, yes, yes. I was saying to Cato, I, I was saying, 
you know, on beat stars, they're like, how many, how many beats do you make a year? And people are like, I make a thousand beats a year. I make five beats a day. And I'm like, are you getting a mixed and mastered? <laughs> yeah, man. Because if you are, too. you're, you're vesting, you're, it's like, you're buying a lot of product to put on your shelf that might not sell. I feel like they, they, they use, you know, once they, they get like the one master mixed and mastered professionally, then they have their reference track, as you mentioned earlier, and then they, they put it into a software with that reference track. And I guess that makes it, you know, more, you know, improves the quality of it. Maybe not to the final product, but they'll definitely improve it a lot than, than it would be without it. You know, I so, think, I think a lot of guys, I mean, I think a lot of guys are putting really kind of um, basic mixes on them. I mean, I don't, I don't, I'm not an engineer, but I can go in and I, I, I can, I can, I can adjust the EQ and then right. throw it, throw it through. I think a lot of people are throwing them through these, these programs like Lander and Emaster. I see they'll, there's ads that they'll fucking uh, master your song for like six ninety nine or And I, I think people are, you, I mean, they're, pe- they're making money, dude. People, so people are using that. And if you got, so- if you got 50 songs that need to get mastered and they have decent EQs on them, you know, I would, you know, 20 bucks a month, you could, you can master as many songs as you want. But like I said, like, I don't think, I don't think these guys are putting final products up. I think they're putting up beats, expecting people to buy them and use them the way they see fit and not. But like that's yeah. that's like a small detail that could get you worried. It keep you from from taking yeah, that keep next it, step keep you from on, making man. songs. <clears throat> Definitely, man. Yeah, I've been really like I've lost the last honestly like almost the last week just trying to figure this out, trying to get the right sound and finally I got ozone and I I looked at some tutorials and I thought that was the holy grail. I was like I have finally have the formula and all of a sudden right yeah and you know what you're probably going to get better at mixing and mastering and think you found the formula (laughs) down the road i mean that's what i'm saying like like guys guys in that club i have heard say like i know a mix and mastering guy and we have a deal I kick him all my beats and he mixes and masters them for me. And you know what I mean? They're not going to some, they're not going to some boutique mix and master guy that charges a hundred bucks a song. They're going to some guy at that place and they're making a deal with them and saying, Hey, look, I'm a big time dude. I make a hundred beats a year and I can't do this myself. Oh, hold on. Do I still have you, man? I think I was getting another call. Yeah. All right. So, cool, cool. I don't know, dude. Like, it, it's like all this stuff that, all this stuff that is the number one thing, like, guys like you and I that have been doing this for like a year or so need to keep doing is just keep making dope stuff. Make the dopest stuff you can make. And if you can afford to get your songs, Mastered, then do it. If you can't put them on you, put them on YouTube and SoundCloud and Beat Stars and cross your fingers and get to, and try to network with people. Like I feel like I feel like I make it so complicated. Like I'm making like I got a freaking clipboard and I'm writing down all the different VSTs and all the different types of studio reference mo- uh, monitors that I can. It's like. Like what happened to the day when I could just make my make a beat with one of these, like like Cash Money? You know what dude. I'm saying? Like that that Things dude's just put, that dude's man. just making th- these dudes are just making beats with earbuds and putting them on SoundCloud, and he did it for five years, six years straight, and then people are coming to him saying, "Hey, I'll mix and master your songs." I I, I, I don't know, man. I, I I'm just saying like. Oh, I hear you, man. Don't get dude, don't get discouraged. Yeah, that's why they say Cato says all the time, ten years, man. So that's why every time I get frustrated, I I remember him saying ten years. You hear his beats years. from ten years ago? 
Dude, I, I got beats. To... I got beats on my MacBook right now from 2006. Oh man, dude, I wasn't making music until like last year, man. Even now, I listened to something I made last year. I was like, dude, this is so trash, man. Like I can't even. I, I had to delete it. I didn't even want it on my computer anymore. I had to do it. It's so bad. And still, I'm still like, oh man, like I got that feeling again last night, even though Dude, I was ready to post away. it on Stars. I was like, oh no. What don't a throw disaster, that stuff away. You got to keep that stuff. You got to keep that stuff and look back on it and be like, dude, look, you forget. You forget. I'm telling you, dude, like I've, I've written stuff down and I'm like, where did I learn that? And it's like, sometimes I'll go back to my notes and I'll be like, oh yeah, I used to follow this guy or I used to talk to this dude. And it's like, and it just makes me realize like it puts like time markers on the progress that I forgot about. Like you got to remind, you got to remind, like if you don't have someone telling you and and it's kind of like, I look back on a picture of me 10 years ago, you know, like this 10 year challenge thing that, that people are putting up. Like I looked back at a picture of me last night from 2006 and I was like, who is that kid? But I feel the same. Yeah. Like it's the same thing. Like if you don't have somebody that's, that knows where you've been and is like, Oh yeah, dude, you used to make this mistake or that. Like you gotta, you gotta find those references for yourself. Don't throw that stuff away. All right, man, gonna <laughs> got them on my old laptop. I had to get a new one, man. <laughs> Dude, because the old one I had was like a $300 laptop that just was not working. Like, right, I couldn't yeah. do any sort of video editing on it. I couldn't, I could barely run uh, Ableton in it, dude. It was just a nightmare. I had to invest. And thanks to Amazon that I was able to get like a legit laptop that I can, like, make in payments. I don't have to just, you know, throw out over a thousand dollars, you know, because I figured if I'm going to invest in a laptop, it might as well be. One that I don't have to upgrade for the next five to ten years, hopefully, you know. So mm-hmm. I got that going. I got my controller. That's another nightmare, man. I, I got a, a little controller that I just, I got it hooked up. Like, it has power. It works. But I just don't know how to fucking program, program the pads. The, the pads, man. And it's, dude, I've been so close to grabbing it and what is smashing it. it. What is it? In a, is it in a K, MPK? No, it's uh the 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 mini the fuck I can't remember what brand the AK MPK mini. No, no, no. It's not. It's not one of those. It's a different. It's one. not this. Uh, it looks just like that. Like it's, honest, like 20, honestly, it like looks just like it. Key, like a little twenty-five key job. Yeah, it's, it's a different brand, but it looks almost identical to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I just haven't figured out how to like program them. Sometimes and I see people like instead, playing in their shit. Right, right, right. I instead can't of, figure it, it like, out for man. me, like with this, instead of sometimes like trying to program everything to a, like a certain pad, sometimes when you open up the DAW and you're like hitting a pad, and you can see it light up on, let's say, like for example, like I have like Native Instruments Complete. And when I hit the pad, some random sound will make. And then I find the sound that I want. I can drag it into that square that is hit the pad, the pad set. And all. Like, like if I hit the pad one and it hits off like the kick one, but I like kick two. Sometimes you can drag like in the DAW it on top of the instrument that's on the pad that's lighting up when you push it. And sometimes that's an okay. easy way to, to do that without like reprogramming the entire pad like map because i i mean okay yeah i have to revisit that because i got really frustrated with it a couple of weeks ago and i just like left it alone I, right. i've been working yeah. with just audio samples because i couldn't figure out the whole midi thing it was just i was i was too green it's frustrating, back then. like dude, i feel like yeah. i know now more to it's frustrating it up. i mean like really really you only need like the the kick snare closed hi-hat in 808 so you don't really need to like reprogram the whole pad all the pads but i mean you see those guys uh, they're hitting what? they're hitting you know at most four fingers so it's like and, and some samples so it's yeah i feel like i made it a lot more complicated because i was following somebody's tutorial and they were like they had a, f- a whole song 
and they were chopping it up into samples and assigning it to the pads. Yeah. And I feel like that just made it way more complicated. I was looking for something a lot more basic, you know? Mm hmm Yeah. I would just say keep messing with it. Tuto- I mean, there's going to be a tut- ton of tutorials, and some of them are good and some of them aren't. And but you, well, So you said the kick, the hi-hat? What yeah, else? Like oh, the, the snare? The kick and the snare. The kick and the snare, okay. That's just the, the, the one okay, and the yeah, three right, count. Yeah, that makes Boom. sense. I'm trying to visualize Boom. it. All right, yeah, that makes sense. Boom, like kick, snare, kick, snare. Right. And then it yep. high, closed hi-hats, the, you know. Yeah. Okay, so basically I need like three to four pads, really. That's that's, yeah, that's yeah. basically I mean, what you're using. Yeah. I mean, right. how, See, I didn't quite even realize I mean, you this see stuff, these, man. You like, see it's these, basic. Like, you see these, like, you know, hardcore people that are hitting multiple. I mean, that that's years and years of, of magic. I mean, that's – those people are like instrumentalists on a, on a MIDI, you know? Right. Like, you don't – I mean, yeah. I don't I, – I think it's hard to hit the hi-hat for every beat and do the kick and snare at the same time. It is, man. But you know what? It, the person that's listening to your beat doesn't know that. You could have, you could have, did them all individual. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like you don't have to so play I'm them all together. I'm a, you don't have to play I'm them all I'm together. I'm excited to get that working, man. Yeah. Well, dude, stay in contact. I'm, I'm, I like I said, like I'm, I'm excited for you, and I'm. I'm not. I'm not that far ahead of you. I've just read a lot, so I, I'm I, some of the stu- some of the feelings that you've shared have been, you know, ex- experiences that experiences that I've felt personally. But like a lot of these guys that are on here talking about like royalties and stuff, like that's I've just read fine print and gone to websites and and checked out, you know, gone to these websites like Song Trust and you know, sound exchange and the PROs and just read the frequency, frequently asked questions. And it's, it's not, you know what I'm saying? So like, I'm not, I, I don't, I'm not trying to come across. I hope I never come across as like me trying to like spit game at you. Like I'm like, I'm some like, Oh I'm, man, it's so good. Like I, I just know that when I go on those, those, most of the, it's, it's, there's this, it's kind of funny. It's like the guys that the guys that, the lives that you and I go and listen to, those guys don't have the time to answer questions for people that just started. Like, what's a right. DAW? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the people that go into those, that go into those lives are trying to get like kind of like second, third level questions. So I, I'm going into lives and I'm listening to people who are getting ignored, who are asking like kindergarten questions. And then I hit them up in the DMs, and I'm like, hey, here's the answer to your question, you know, because the, they're not going to stop and ask that. They're not going to stop and answer that. So, like, that's that's that, that that's who I'm – and I'm not putting you in that category. I'm just saying, like, you, I've just kind of had fun chatting back and forth with you. But, like, Dude, most there's of the, some aspects of the game that I'm still a fucking beginner, man, a lot of them, so I'm not afraid to – to admit it because I want to learn. I want to grow, man. So to, the only way to do that is by accepting that you don't know. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, man, yo, I'm supposed to be at work. I, I think I, they just texted <laughs> me. Right. So, hey, hey, and dude, I'm so, outside. So I think they just saw my car. They're like, is he still out there? Like, so basically right. go check on him. All so, right, cool, man. yeah, hey, man, we'll definitely be in contact, brother. Appreciate you. God bless. All right. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your help. Of course. And you, you two keep it up, man. All right. All right, see you, Buffalo. Be good, brother. All right, see you, man. It's a good dude.